Um, I'm going to fast forward ahead to a, a primetime game for next week. Cowboys are minus two at the Vikings. Uh, Cowboys coming off of their bye here in week eight. And this just feels like a little bit of an underrating of the Cowboys yet again, a team that is undefeated against the spread this season. They are 6-0 and oh to go along with their 5-1 and one actual record. I think there's a little bit of Dak Prescott uh, worries at play in this one. He was in a walking boot last week, but the already out of it doesn't appear to be in any sort of jeopardy, not only to play in this game against Minnesota, but to play at the Dak Prescott level that we are used to seeing. So I feel very comfortable with that. And just look at these two teams and look at these two offenses and how they size up against each other. You know, Dallas has brought it in every single game they've played this season. Minnesota, when they are going, they are going. They're a good team. They're a team that you do want to be intimidated by on the offensive side of the ball. They can be very efficient. They have playmakers really at every level, and we've seen that from them you know, in more often than not this season. But it's not quite as consistent as what we get from Dallas. And so the minus two really is just – it feels like all we're really trying to do here is find the winner. And I like the Cowboys a lot in this spot. So I think we take advantage of the um, not having full information on Dak Prescott just yet here early in the week, because if he gets even a limited session on Wednesday to wit in practice, I think this jumps up to three right there. And so I want to grab it now where I can just get a feel, a field goal victory and a win for the Cowboys. Yeah, last night there was like that report briefly that Dak wasn't going to practice today at all because they go back to practice on Monday because they mm -hmm. had the bye week. Right. And, you know, they the Cowboys didn't say anything about the injury last year or last week. Jerry Jones said something on their, his radio appearance about, you know, he's a little bit concerned about it. But then he's like Dr. Jerry, so he's just always diagnosing <laughs> and not even – I mean, I don't even know if he really knows what's going on sometimes when he's saying that stuff. But, um, I mean, I do have concern about that. And and this is one that I actually I was gonna bet the other side, but you kind of jumped in on the the Cowboys. So we'll we'll make this a friendly bet. Side. We'll <laughs> we'll make this a friendly bet, and I'll take the Vikings, and and we'll make it a friendly bet between us. But I think, you know, this is like one of those situations where I think Dak's gonna play through the injury no matter what, because it's probably something that's not gonna get significantly worse. Mm -hmm. But Chris Sims on his show was saying how he had the same injury and it can be a really a bad thing when it's your push off leg, when you're throwing and cause under throws and just kind of cause some really bad discomfort, even if you get medicine before the game and all these things. So I'm just staying away from this. I, I think the Vikings are a little underrated still just based on their first couple of results. And so I think people are going to get jump on the, the Vikings bandwagon here pretty quickly. But like you said, I mean, getting the Cowboys at two points, you know, I see nothing wrong with that either. Cause they're, they're definitely one of the better teams in the NFL.